This is a, a great image of a respectable, classy, beautiful woman. For you to point out this well-dressed sister here to make me feel some type of way about myself becomes a problem. Let me let me get you. Let me get you. The reason I have never said I do is because I don't. I've, I've been married, um, and I, I, I couldn't sign up for bad sex. That's right. So if we enter a relationship with anything that's about me, 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 then I don't believe that we're ready. Sometimes it's complicated, but there you go. That's my introduction. <laughs> I'm Carol Petra. I am single, no children, and you know I'm an actress, so I wouldn't mind having someone to, you know, study scripts with. Oh. I'm David Scott, better known as Mr. Goodnight. And I'm here representing men that are going to tell you the truth. And today I'm here to tell you the truth. And no age bracket. No age bracket. Okay, all men. All men. I'm Danielle Patterson. I am single, but I'm working on it. Cause I think I just might have found the man that is ready to handle all of this right here. Hi, and I'm Roberto Lopez, and I'm your Puerto Rican persuasion. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm single, saved, celibate, and still sexy. I am Christopher Dion, AKA the gentleman, and I am your resident Al Bundy. In other words, I'm married with children. <laughs> uh, my name is Yana B. I'm a longtime panelist uh, since the beginning, and I am single uh, for now. Single for now. This is going to be a great show. We have Manira Warner. She's here. We call her the 30 year old virgin, but she's 30 year old virgin, and we're going to figure out why in the world you would want to do that. I mean, that's just, that's just it. Why in the world would you want to be a virgin? But I have something to say. For everybody out there who's searching for their dreams, and I just told me to say, if I don't know why we're all here, but we're here for a purpose, and you always have to follow your purpose. So I say always stay true to yourself. I'm started from Urban Expressions, didn't start out being a host or anything. I had 30 seconds, that's it. On my 30 seconds every week, then they people started to know me. So don't, don't worry about the small beginnings. Don't worry about where you are. I ain't making it nowhere right now. I'm not anywhere right now. Right now is where you're supposed to be and just wait for when it comes. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about it, but be yourself. I was just myself for my 30 seconds of airtime every week, and now people know me for Urban Expressions, Word on the Street. That's my, my spiel for today. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about, before we talk to Minera, we're gonna talk about our first times. Yes, they didn't know about this. We're talking about our first times. And what I said is, how many people when they realized they had this first time, when they have changed their mind and never ever had a first time. When they realized, when, they, when you had your first time, did you realize, why did I have this first time? Why okay. did I do you it? Mean, you it, mean, did I have immediate regret, regrets upon doing it? That's what you're saying. It may not have been immediate, it might have been later on. I wish I had never never done it, but why did I have my first time? All about a first time. So, it don't matter what you, I did, I sure wouldn't want to be no 30 plus year old virgin. I don't know, y'all got that. Oh, wait, 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 what are we gonna talk about? So we're gonna talk about our first times uh, in, in, in any regrets or anything. Talk about the real first time, not fake, this is real. Well, wait a minute, Let, let's be <laughs> careful. Let's see, I need clarification. Now, are we talking about actual intercourse? I need to know that. the first time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well. The, exactly, I need to know exactly what we talking about. The because, first time somebody first got time. up in first there. time. <laughs> We're gonna talk terrible. about right now, the first time you had sexual relations, penetration from. I was gonna say, because my president said that is not sex with that woman, so I need to know. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay, so you talking, talking about, about actual real penile, vaginal penetration. Or yes. If you were gay, I think that's what's stuff. considered yeah. the okay, first I'm time. Just making sure. That's the lawyer in her. That's the lawyer right. coming out. That's Let's get it all on the table. The confessions are going to be clear, and we're going to answer the question. Well, back to me. <laughs> My first time, 
See, I am, I'm very organized, so I had it planned out, knew the guy forever. We were working towards it for like months and months and months, so it was this whole cute little scenario. It was terrible. <laughs> terrible. I was like, I'm good. Like, I did not want to go on a date, not talk to anyone for like a year after that. I'm like, this is horrible. How I don't know what people are talking about. Um, young, like 15. So you planned it out for months and months and months. Yeah, it was like my sweetheart, like my first boyfriend. Was it because he didn't know what he was doing? I mean, he was a little older than me, so we were both young. But I mean, you know. did he know what he was doing? I mean, apparently, I was not very intrigued by his performance, so. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Alrighty. So, but well, it's improved since. It. No, no, but you look back <laughs> on it. Okay, so, so that was you didn't want to do it with a year after that. So you look back on it, right? Now you've had some other experiences. Now Is I get what the hype's about. Like, no, now I understand. No, 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 I want to say, like, like, mm, let's talk about this first time. Yeah, my question we're is, so regretting. looking back at it now, is it that because you're looking back at it, you know better, so you, like, can you pinpoint what the problem was with the first time now, as you've had more experiences and no more? Honestly, no, I don't have regrets, just because I trusted the person, I knew him well, and I kind of feel like it's normal to have your first time be a little awkward and not the greatest sexual experience. So overall, I felt, you know, I have no regrets about it. But I also realized that neither one of us knew what we were doing at all whatsoever. So I'll leave it at that. Okay, David Scott. I got regrets. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you the truth. The truth is, first of all, I don't even remember her name. That's number one. Number two, I was, I was in gym class. I was about 16 going on 17. And it was a young lady that was interested in me, and she kept back and forth flirting. And basically, she put me in a position where I had to put up a shut up. I wasn't ready for her, wasn't really that interested in her. But because she made that power move, and I had my fellows with me, I could not ignore it. So I agreed to go and be sexual with her. Don't remember her. Don't remember how good or bad it was. And that part of it, I do regret, because for your first time, I would, you would think you would know who it was. And I was surprised to learn that a lot of other men was in my same mm -hmm. position that they don't even remember the first girl they were with. Wow. Don't remember her name. Wow. Yeah. I hear that all the time from guys. I hear that all the time. And, you know, except I don't even you know my name. Yeah. <laughs> I, <shall> I, <laughs> I think it's so much more special for women, too. Isn't oh, no, I, I don't think so. I think that, that men feel like they have that pressure on them to perform. Like, they feel like they can't say no. We say no forever. And it's considered a virtuous and great thing. You know, is what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Well, I don't know about them. I had a fabulous time. Your first time. Yes, I did. It was fabulous. See, that's why I had to clarify exactly what y'all counted as the first time. Because y'all know I was in the European boarding school, right? So, um, you know, we were doing everything for about a year. You know, the 69 and the oral everything for a whole year prior to getting up to it. That's why I wanted to know exactly what you counted the first time. Because the first time his penis went out of my mouth was a long time before his vagina went in, before his penis went out of my vagina. That was a long wow. time. It was a nice last. So, um, and actually having sex, <laughs> um, actually having sex was kind of like, um, hmm, we were, you know, because every day at 4.30 we fool around. It's like what we did after the, um, after like study group and after I finished playing sports, he was on the, well, he was in college by this time, so he was a track star and I was still playing lacrosse and ice hockey. So every day after sports, I, we would take a shower together and then we'd get to the full around. So we were in his dorm room and on the usual full around and I asked him, do you have a condom? And then he looked at me like I was nuts. He was like, wait a minute, you actually put it inside you? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. As a matter of fact, let's just do it. <laughs> so he jumped up and ran over to down the hall naked. We just didn't see one of his friends because he didn't have one. And he was like, give me that condom. So, and then that was how we had sex. And it was a fabulous, fabulous time. Yes, I was hanging from the chandeliers. It was a great time because, again, he was already sucking my toes and licking on my anus. So let's get it. <laughs> wow. Oh, this and, yeah, and I, I was um, 18. She was 18. Well, we, we, we're going to come back. We, we don't have much time. We're going to uh, we're going to come back after the break, and we're going to hear from the rest of us about our first times. And if you were, if not, have any regrets? You know, she she has an isolated incident. I'm sure. I, I missed out. Faces. Oh, oh, we have other faces. So we're going to go to the break. This is single on a Saturday night. I am Shelly Williams. We are talking about our first times. Our first. 
horror stories or our first uh, great stories. It, it would take a Danielle to have a great story. But anyway, we're gonna, I'm gonna go down here. I'm, I'm saving mine for last. For last. For less. For less. I, you know, I can't. For less. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I can't complain. My first time, I spent 11 years with my first. So I don't have much of a story to, to tell you. There was no wow. planning. There was none of that. But, you know, it was beautiful. And uh, granted, you know, I called my mother after. I was a happy girl. <laughs> I mean, without, you know, I mean, she was my best friend, so for her, for, that was a big deal for me, and I was 19 years old, so. Yeah, I, I told my mother. 19, 18, wow. Well, I was 13. Uh, yeah, it was the babysitter. <laughs> hey, you know, I like older women. You know, I can't help it, I like older women. She was there watching my sister, who's five years younger than me. I knew her, her mom and my mom were best friends. And, you know, we were in my mom's room, and bang, there it was. But you know what, that whole thing with the babysitter and everybody being young, it happens a lot. But do you think that mm -hmm. that affects y your life, that affects your life when you're being, your, your virginity is taken so young by a babysitter and it, it doesn't give you a chance to really get but your mind together? Not really, because she was only two or three years older than me. She wasn't, she wasn't there to watch me, she was there to watch my sister. Because I was in and out playing sports. So, so she wasn't know. an influencer at all? No, I was the influencer. I was, hey, that's how I grew up, I, you know. My uncles was pimps, my, my aunts was madams. That's how I was, that's how, you know, that's how I was. That's how I go? That's how I go. Oh, wow. I'm a pimp by blood, not relation. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's see, first time, this is a shocker. Thanks, Shelly. No problem. Um, okay, I think I was about 11 or 12. I don't, it wasn't a great time. It didn't last more than like, what? a minute and a half. <laughs> it was like I was sneaking because, you know, my grandmother worked a lot. So we was home, me and my uncles and my aunts, we was home a lot, a lot by ourselves. So my uncle would bring his friends over and we would just be in the house making peanut butter jelly sandwiches and just acting a fool. Peanut so butter sky. jelly sandwiches lead to sex. Watch out, y'all. <laughs> don't, don't, don't leave your kids alone. With the exactly. babysitter and peanut butter and jelly. So we're in there and we're sneaking and we're, you know, touching and doing things. And anyway, he ended up trying to put it in and it went in and then he was done and <laughs> it was just awful. And that was it. I didn't do it anymore until I was like 14. So. Woohoo! <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't just continue. Yeah. So the, the second time was a lot better. Well, that's interesting. So it took you like a year and yeah. it took you a couple years. So after this woman forced herself on you. Scared me right off. This, Probably took me a few months later. See, I had sex the next day. That's y'all wasn't doing it right. <laughs> at four thirty, we was right back at it. Then he was like, "Oh, we get to do this every time." I was like, "Yup." I was like, "I just don't understand. <laughs> what are people talking about? This is terrible." Yeah. <laughs> my my first time was with the girl from across the street. Uh, she she was babysitting, and I went over because nobody was home. <laughs> and. Um, it was her idea. She tells me, listen, I'm going to let you pop my cherry. <laughs> that was the term. You know what I, mean? I was like, all right, whatever that means. But uh, How old were you to know I was there? probably like about 15. So, uh, so what happened was in the middle of it, I got scared because um, I just didn't So in the middle of like a minute and a half? No, it's just whatever halfway through was, I got scared because I, I just felt like I wasn't supposed to be doing that. So I got up and ran home. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to my older brother, right? And I shot my hand in my drawers and I was like, yo, Mike, what you McCullough made me do this? And it was like just this gooey stuff on my hand. <laughs> and he said, yo, you got some? And I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> he was very proud, right? And my brother was, yeah. I was scared to death. I was scared to death. Man, I didn't look at that girl for like, I look at that girl no more, like for three I'm sure years. she didn't have sex for like six years after that. Like, What's the matter? What's the matter? I gotta go. I gotta go. I, I ran home, man. That was I'm a bona fide snapper. That, snapper. that was that was when you get the snapper. That was that was it. That was it snapped it. you so hard you had to run home. Run home. Run home. So how long after that did you? Quite some time. Quite, Quite some time. So it was like a month. No. <laughs> Quite, Quite some, some time. time. All right, I'm going to tell you my story. Just like Danielle, I think I've done a lot of the, the finger, the not the oral though. When I was younger, I was just the finger thing. Like you could, you could finger I, me. I was in Europe. They said that was fine. <laughs> well, it's fine now. Anyway, we have all accepted. I understand. It, you could go oral now. <laughs> go oral. Don't hit anything. Well, but anyway, actually, I will say this. Like for all that time that we weren't having sex, and all his friends would laugh here, and they'd be like, "But you don't, you don't get none." 
He was like, yeah, but don't none of y'all get no head. And they were like, yeah, you're right. How you doing, Danielle? Because then it was really fascinating because nobody would do that. So that lasted me for a long time. I'm sure it did. <laughs> hey, I mean, head works for a lot of people anyway. So uh, I, I, I got a lot of the whole finger thing out. But I actually didn't have sex till I was 22. <laughs> Not that I was that good. I was just 22, just thinking, okay, I was dating a person. And then another person came along, his friend, and I was like... You gave it to him? Yeah, I did. Mm. I gave it to the friend. <laughs> only because I thought, like, all this time, the guy's chasing me, he's chasing me. And then he showed me his, you know, his thing, and it was really gigantic. So my whole thing was, it was, it was, I mean, remote. It was bigger than that remote. Was that, wait a minute, was that looking like one of them child's arms? This dude yes, doing, yes, it looked like yes. Infant, like a child. I was, was like, what do you want to do with was, that? It was ridiculous. So my whole thought was. So that's what you wanted to have sex with for your first No, time? no, that was the one, the Comcast one that was chasing remote. me. This was the guy that was chasing me, chasing me, chasing me. But, you know, he was, once he showed me it, I was like, there's no way that would be my okay, first time. There's no way possible. I was confused. So then his friend came along and, you know, I was like, wow, he's kind of cute. So then we started dating on a sneak. Um, and it was, you know, you 22. You were just trifling. Was it like that? No, it was bigger than that. But anyway, <laughs> it was. It was really, really huge. And, and her I, arms are like this. It was really, really huge. <laughs> it was like, wow. You're anyway, still overwhelmed. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, now I wish I would have gone back and done that all thing over. But anyway, anyway, so I got with a friend, and uh, I didn't know why I was going to do it. I had no intentions of really de-virginizing myself. However, I got a little drunk and I had a friend. She was she smoked weed and she was just all out there. She's like, you should do it. You should do it. Do it, do it, do it. She said, do a song. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> then do it. Do it till you satisfied. Do it. Do it. Yep. So she literally convinced me to do it so she could get some in the next room. So I did it. And I said my first thought was, really? Is this what it was all about? Why in the world? Worst experience ever. What was, what was, see, everybody was I did not enjoy, I didn't see where now I know why. I, I mean, I can enjoy it now, but that whole point was like, I don't, it was nothing to enjoy. What was it? You that, that, that's his, you don't know yourself, you don't know your body, you don't know what to look for, you don't know how to orgasm, you don't know anything. So how can it be enjoyable when all you got somebody doing is stick, 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 stick? That has no, it's no passion. I wasn't in love with him, I had no passion, I had no thrill. It was just, you just stuck it in, got your stuff off, and to me, I'm like, really, that was the best just version? A, just an act to you. Yeah, that was nothing. So my whole thing was, I really wasted 22 years of being a virgin for this, and that's ridiculous. And so that was, that was... I wanted to say that my first time was like that, and why my first time was ridiculous and horrifying. I was 16. All my friends was just hyping it up, right? Like, yo, yo, this and that. And I'm like, all right, but I want to be, I wanted to be in love. Mm -hmm. So 16 in West Philly is a long time waiting, mm -hmm. right? So I was waiting and waiting for love. Love didn't happen. So this dude that I was with, random, I'm like, all right, let's see what it's, let's see what it's hitting for. He like, for real? I'm like, yeah, let's go. It was the worst experience I ever had in my life. I ain't had sex for another year. It hurt it. It was painful. I bled. It hurt it. <laughs> like, it was like, is he killing me? Like, what is going on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why it was the worst. And then the, the second time after that, it was like, okay, but it wasn't like, it wasn't what I imagined. I wasn't relaxed. I don't even know if I was lubricated. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Why did so, it hurt so like, bad? It I was really a virgin and I was tight like this. And he probably was... I don't know. You probably well, I mean, we were remember. all virgins but and tight like that. It, but it comes in. hurt it. And then, you see what I'm saying? It was random. Oh, you it wasn't had, romantic. You I'm have, like, all right, let's just do did it. Did you experience fingering before then? Uh, any type of play, play, no. playation with your okay. no. playation? No. Yeah, playation. No. You don't like that? No? No, I didn't experience nothing. So maybe that's why. See, we was a little oh. looser because we had some, you know, some playing, some tinkering. Ching, ching, ching. But you know, you know what? And I it was a guy out. that I was going to do it with before, but when he was trying to put it in, I was like, this hurts. He like, you want to stop? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, wait, what, what is all this sex stuff they saying? This is not adding up. I don't want to be hurt. Well, it sounds but, like y'all didn't have partners. Like, it's, right. to me, as I've boys. listened to everybody's story, not right. just little boys, because I mean, mine wasn't much older than me, so if I was 18, he was 20. 
But well, I mean, no, but, but I mean, it was different. We had a different workout. from no, no, fourteen. Not when we had been together for several years. So he had, he wasn't having sex with anybody else. What I'm saying is, we had a whole relationship. I was very comfortable with my body. Right. I was running around naked in front of him all the time, and the same with him because we were right. doing everything else. So in that first time, we had done everything else. I was excited like a bee when I told him to go find his condom. So, you know, it was just, and clearly, like I said, he was running down the hall butt naked, so he was fine too. But, but that's when you have a relationship. And Some I people think that have what we didn't do is we didn't have them. We just, we just, we had, just had sex. We just had these first times because we were curious. But what if you could go back and change the hands? Of course, not Danielle. We're talking about everybody else. If you could go back, change the hands of time, would you have first a first time? Would you continue? Why continue? If it wasn't that great, why continue? That's why I want to talk to Manera Warner because she didn't. She didn't have a first time. She didn't have a chance to continue. But maybe we could have gone back and changed our hand in time. We're going to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to hear from a new era. And we're going to hear your comment because I know you got a comment, Mr. 13 year old. And I ain't judging, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't judging. But this is single on a Saturday night. The first time ever I saw you. Anyway, this is single on a Saturday night. We are talking about first times. And we have Manira Warner, a blogger from Urban Chastity, right? Am I right? Urban Chastity, and she is a 32-year-old virgin, but we want to get to the root of things, and we want to find out about everybody's first time, because really, it takes a first time, and we want to know why anybody would have a first time, and then we also want to know why you would wait so long. So, we're going to hear more from, we got an audience member, who's also our core member, uh, Tamika, she was to say, you want to talk about your first time? Yeah, because just to agree with her that my first time I met him when I was 16 we was together till I was 18 you know we fooled around but never penetrated so on my 18th birthday that was the big deal oh we gonna have sex and I loved him he loved me you know puppy love but it was horrible it hurt it I bled and we didn't do it again for like maybe like a month so I was like well what, this was it this is the big deal this was horrible it was a nightmare like we had to wash the mattress wash the sheets it was bad <laughs> my thing is my question is if it is so bad, not you, Danielle, but anybody else, if it was so bad, why do we go back? Anybody? But you know what? Because practice makes perfect. No, it's in but our you know what? It is in our nature to, to desire the intimacy. It is in our base nature. Regardless of how bad it is, there is something in our chemical makeup, whatever those endorphins are that release, that make us think the next time is going to be better. The next time is going to be better. That and wasn't my experience. I didn't think the next time was going to be better. I only did it because, like, I done messed up anyway. I'm going to do it. It was never, like, I got to have it. It was just, like, I'm deflowered anyway, you know. Right. I just, think the I'm reason. Up anyway. That's how I felt in my head. Like, I done messed up now. I, done, I thought I was going to be somebody and waiting forever and going to get married. That's what I thought. That was my mindset. But once I did it, I'm like, oh, I might as well do it again. Let's keep on going. I think the reason that so many of us had, you know, bad experiences is because there's peer pressure. You have your friends talking about it. You see it on TV. You think it has to be great. And you don't want to be the only one that is a virgin that can't be part of the conversation. So I think the peer pressure, the immature acting upon those desires of, you know, being with the trend and knowing what they're talking about is really the biggest issue with it because we're not ready. We're rushing into it. We don't know our bodies. We are not emotionally ready and I think that's why so many experiences was, were bad and maybe Danielle's wasn't because they had a relationship and there was no outside factor in the middle of nowhere in Germany. Well, I tell you, my family, they have dubbed me the queen of bad ideas. My grandmother told me if they ever called and said you were in jail and it was you and your girlfriends, we ain't got to worry, don't even start lying, we know it was your idea. Because, you know, I mean, that's just who I am. I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. So y'all could appear pressure forever. I still won't be giving up the goodies. When I gave them up, it's because I decided Cause to. Because she decided to. So now, uh, Manera Warner, Urban Chastity. We, we, we talked about a whole lot about first times. And we're wondering, like, you hear all this. And what in the world, why in the world, like, for real? Like, 32 years old, you've never done it. Why? Yeah, well, every story here I've heard a thousand times before. I'm going to ask that hear some of the worst stories or, or some of the best that you ever heard but for me it's just a, um, a personal conviction that I have I grew up you know in a Christian church a holiness church and most if not all the people even the men waited until they got married to you know have sex everybody in your church not everybody but for a lot of people that's what they told so me. you mean it's more than that's just what they you said. It's, a whole lot of us. it's that's what, more that's than just you in your church no, not the church that I grew up in. I don't go to that church anymore. Did you ever have anybody medically examined? That's what they had told you, right? Well, because I don't believe it. So that's what I'm just like. I have to. I just but you know what? They told but that's, you that. That, so, that's one of the questions that we're definitely getting to. So get into your, tell, tell us your story. So because that is one of the questions that everybody has asked. Well, 
What makes you think you believe her? How you know it's true? So go I'm ahead. not talking about her, but I was no, talking about no, the whole church I'm, folks. Right, but I'm talking about this is what everybody said when they when they uh when we mentioned it, everybody wanted to know the one question is why do you believe her? But go on and tell your story and, and how in the world. It's a it's a personal conviction I have. In order to please God, you have to live a certain lifestyle. You just can't have sex, drink, party, do whatever you want. Um, I live a life of discipline in every area of my life. I'm home by nine, nine thirty, I'm in the bed by ten. I live the lifestyle all the way around. So, you know, it's, it's just not about, oh, abstinence, don't have sex. I live a disciplined life. So that's how, and it's been like that for a very long and time. And you allow yourself to date. So when, when, yeah. when, how are the guys that want to date you, like, what's your conversation early on in that? Most that of the time they don't know uh, until a few dates pass maybe, and then they want to know about, you know, of course you flirt and you bring up sex, but I always tell them, you know, I, I, um, I'm going to wait until I get married to have sex, but they never guess the whole virgin thing. So once I say that, that's right. the end of the story usually. Then what, I'm, this is my last question, I want to ask uh -huh. you about the intimacy then. Like I say, if I'm out dating you, uh -huh. I want to I give you a hug, I may want to kiss you, I may mm -hmm. want to touch you. Like, and if I know that you have this conviction then it's going to change who I am and my attitude. Is it okay to touch her? Can I put my arm around her? If right. I touch her hair, is it going to be an issue? How, how, how do well, you no, deal that's, with that? Well, no, that's, that's nothing wrong with hugging and kissing and all that. Not for me. I know a lot of virgins that they don't do all of that. They don't do the hugging and kissing. But I can handle it, okay. you know, so I don't have a problem with the hugging and kissing. But for the most part, I go out with guys who are already living that lifestyle. Okay. Where do you so. find these people? We all, we, we, <laughs> we, we all, there, there's a few of us, there's a few I of us. I was not going to say, don't stop I understand, not all, I understand, not all. There uh -huh. are people, not all, I get it, I, I, rephrasing. Yeah. Anyway, there are people who just want to try to honor God. That, that is their goal. That's right. what they say in their mind. Right. I, I really, in my head, you know, as sometimes I say, yeah, I don't want to do it because God says so. Where in the world does that come from? How can you... Is that because you were surrounded by these people? What, I mean, what is it? Why well, no, don't I wasn't, you give in? I, I wasn't at the church forever. You know, I left and went and did different things and joined different churches. But uh, uh, it's, it's just, a, um, I mean, I have the desire, just like everybody else, <laughs> especially after I hit 30, to have sex. The urge comes on every, almost every day. But it's just a temptation, just like the urge to do other things, to, you know, get drive down the street and cut somebody out comes up. It's just an urge that I get rid but of But everybody asked, they, they would ask me, have you, when it comes to, we, you know, we all had this pre stuff, like the, the playation and all uh -huh. that stuff. You don't do, you never did any of that. I'm talking about the, the, uh, the, the fingering, the oral. The kisses down low? The kiss, no, I never yeah. had oral sex, no. Oral, no, no, nobody ever played or touched your. Have you ever no. performed oral sex? No. <laughs> Nothing. Nobody ever touched no. you. Touched me? Touched you. You know, like. I, it was plenty of times I almost had sex. Yeah, it was plenty of times, but I would stop myself and say, no, this is not what I want to do. So how yes. you almost had sex? What does that mean when you say it's plenty of times you almost, like, you got all the way to it and he was like, stop yeah, the barrier. Exactly. So in all that time, he ain't touch it, he ain't kiss it, he ain't lick it. No wonder you wasn't going to be having no sex. <laughs> That's how you can stay a virgin. If you were just like, okay, you're going to ram it in, we can have another one of these uh, situations yep. we just had over here. Before we even get down to it, I, a thousand things come to my mind. God and a whole list of other things that I know about him hit my mind, and I say, no, this is not going to take place. I, I, it's not really worth it. I have a question. And, uh -huh. you know, most people who say they're abstinent and celibate, they take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. Is that an issue? Because to me, if you're taking care of yourself, you're not abstinent. You because no, you're taking care of yourself. Yeah, that's not abstinence when you right. masturbate. No, right. that's not abstinence. So, so, do you have that issue? Do I masturbate? No. Then my question I want to ask you is: With you being 32, uh -huh. and I know with women a biological clock happens about having children, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know you have a self-imposed time clock for mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. So, do you number one? Do you have a clock? And then what if? you get to that clock and time runs out. My, my, my dream since I was a teenager was to get married by 24, 25 and have children, but it just didn't work out like that. And, and at this point, if I met somebody today, I probably wouldn't be having kids to 36, 37, and that's if I met someone, you know, now. You know, so definitely that is an issue, but there's a lot of people to look up to to know that it's possible to have kids at 40. It is. Listen, I, I just want to like... I just want to. I heard, I heard. Listen, I just want to congratulate you in a sense because, Thank like you. women like you that set that standard, probably would have men 
you know, just the regular uh, population of men, you know, really respect women, step their game up to show what a, uh, a good relationship, a good loving relationship would look like, you yeah. know, in public. So I just want to commend you on Thank that. You. Thank you. Thank you. We have a comment. I have a comment. Where are these guys that's living this life? Because, <laughs> like, I mean. Church. No, are they? That's why I say, I don't know. Wait, because I'm in church. Wait, I'm in church. 